Hi there, this is Diana. Um, I wanted to show you a project that I made that I'm really excited about. A lot of people are trading ATCs, these artist trading cards, where you have a little work of art on the front and then your information on the back. And I have just started swapping these, one through uh, Amy's Art Alchemy ATC swap and one through the Get Messy community. And it's just so exciting to get works of art from other artists. And I realized I wanted to have a nice place to put them where I could display them and see, be able to kind of flip through them. And so I made this sweet little book, which um, I have a little closure and the book opens up and has these little spaces where, little pockets where you can flip through and look at all of your ATCs. And then for each one, you can bring it out, you can reorder them and just kind of slip it into the pocket. So I'd like to show you how I made this. I'm still kind of working on the finishing touches and I'll uh, show you the steps of how I did it. So we'll put that away. So basically you just need basic supplies. This is the kind of basic uh, layout of it. It's just a piece of um, cardstock and I created a little folding, sort of accordion, and then glued these little pockets into it. So the accordion is just basically a long piece of paper folded. These are probably about a quarter inch folded together. And then that is glued down onto, actually I used a little piece of fabric, just kind of a tiny strip of fabric, uh, like this one. And that's because even though I tried to fold it straight as you can see it's not very straight here and so having the fabric will as it's glued in will kind of help hold it into place even if it's not all even so the first step was to you know cut the cardstock to the right size and for these you know you wanted to uh, one of these atcs is 2.5 by 3.5 and so i have these about three inches across and uh, those I'll start out with that part. So the first step to make these little pockets is to uh, cut a piece of paper by, these are two and a half by six, and then basically you'd fold it over. And then I like to use this Fabrifix because it doesn't spread much. So you can basically put a bead along two sides. And so that will create your little open pocket. And then, because I wanted to be able to see more of the card, I just cut out. Now you could use a fancy pattern scissors, you know, to make something more pretty, uh, but that is the basic pocket. Um, so it's sealed on these two sides. So by cutting out all of these, then you make a bunch of your pockets. And I'll set those aside for now. And then the second piece is, as I said, this accordion fold. And when it comes to uh, gluing it down, what I did was to first uh, glue it to a small piece of cloth about the same width. And for that, I used this PVA uh, book binding glue because it's more flexible. And basically put some glue down, glued this down into it, and I just kind of folded down the sides here and kind of pinched it closed put it down and then kind of pushed in here to make sure that the fabric was kind of glued in to this side. So once that's glued down, then, you know, and trimmed off, then this gets glued down onto the cardstock, as you can see here on the side. There's just that glued piece there. So once that's dry, then you have each of these folds and one of these gets glued into each fold. For that, again, because it doesn't ooze as much, I use the Fabrifix and it's uh, pretty sticks pretty quickly. So once it was glued in here, then I just went to each one and glued. So you can see, you still see this. Here I just used old matte paper, but you could use decorative paper if you like, and basically glued um, one of these to each side. You could glue it to both sides where you have one on this side and one on this side, except then these would be so close together you wouldn't be able to flip between them. So I just glued to one side of each of the accordion folds um, to make, make the, the center part. 
Uh, so the longer your piece of accordion paper, the more of these that you'll be able to get um, into, your, into your little book. So once that's glued, then it's really a matter of um, just adding the decorations. In this case, I did kind of a, a double fold, as you can see here, that I just folded one corner over so that it would hold in and then folded the other one. And then I just put an eyelid here to have this to wrap around. You could put an elastic here as well. And, um, and it really can be as wide as you like uh, to hold as many ATCs as you like. But I really like the way that it's easy to flip through and to see the different cards. Some of these are cards that I got from the Amy's Art Alchemy Swap, which I really love, and, um, and then some of my own. So I hope that was helpful. It's really easy to make out of pretty much any little supplies you have at home and you can decorate as you like. This is just more matte paper since I've got a big atlas I'm working through and then uh, just some washi tape on the sides to make that border. All right, hope you enjoy and have a great day.